It's time now to take a look at how we can insert video into our PowerPoint presentations. And this might be a video that you have downloaded off to your PC, maybe it's some kind of corporate video, or you can insert a video from the stock video library within PowerPoint. So let's take a look at both of these options. Now for this, we're going to insert another new blank slide, and we're going to jump up to the insert ribbon. Now notice all the way over in the media group, we have an option to insert video files and we can insert them from this device. We can select a video from the stock videos library, or we can search for a video online. Remember the same rules apply to videos as they do to images. If you're going to download an online video, make sure that the copyright allows you to do that and that you have the relevant permission for how you want to use this video. Now, first let's insert a video from this device. So this is a video that I've downloaded again from the Pexels website. And you might have another corporate video that you want to use in your presentation. So let's go to this device. Let's navigate to where we have it saved off. There it is. We can select it and click on insert. So now my video is inserted into my slide. Notice at the bottom, I have a little play icon so I can click on play or press the keyboard shortcut Alt P to see this video in action. Also notice that when we clicked on the video, we get our contextual ribbons, video format and playback. So this is where we can go in and start customizing the look and feel of our video and how it behaves. So in the first group, we just have a play button. We've already seen how that works. The second group is very similar to when we're dealing with pictures. If we need to make any color corrections to this video, maybe we want to make it brighter or even darker, we can do that. We can recolor our videos. So maybe to match a specific color scheme, these can look quite good. In fact, I think I'm going to select green for my video. We can add frames and we can also reset our design if we want to just take it back to how it was originally. We also have a video styles gallery and this can look really nice in some scenarios. So if we hover over this first one, you can see that subtle effect is that very thin white border around the outside. I could go for a thicker border, a black border, so on and so forth. I could even use this to kind of change the shape of the video. So now you can see we kind of have a little curvy corner just there. So if I was to select this, I can then drag this in to make it smaller and reposition it on my slide. And this is a really effective way of displaying a video in a window effectively. So lots of different video styles that you can use. We also have video shape. So if you want to fit it into a triangle, for example, you can do that. And again, sometimes this can look really nice sort of down at the bottom with some text on the slide. Now I'm going to undo and take it back to how it was. We can add a video border so we can change the color of the current border. So I might want to make that dark green. And then of course we have our video effects. So we can add things like shadows or a reflection or a glow around the outside. So let's take a look at reflection. I'm going to add that one and move it into position. Now the other tab of interest here is the playback tab, because this is how we can control how this video plays to our customers. Now let's preview this by running the slideshow to see how it currently looks. So you can see when I move to this slide, the video doesn't start playing until I click my mouse. Now it might be that I'm happy with it that way, or it might be that I want this video to start automatically when the slide loads. So it's things like this that we can customize on that playback ribbon. So let's come out of here by clicking on escape and take a look at some of our options. Now, if we go to video options in the middle here, this start area, this is where we can customize that option. So currently it's set to in click sequence. But if I click the drop down, I can change that to automatically. And when we play the slideshow, you can see that video automatically starts without me having to click my mouse. So that's exactly what I was looking for. We can choose to play it in full screen. So if I select this and then play the video again, I'm going to get a full screen version of that instead. 
then when I hit escape, it's going to pop me back out to the smaller version of the video. If your video has sound, you can control the volume just here, or you can mute it altogether. And this option here is a very important one, loop until stopped. Now, this video isn't particularly long. I think this is roughly, yeah, it's about 20 seconds long. So if I get to 20 seconds, it's just going to stop playing unless I click on loop until stopped. So now it doesn't matter how long I'm talking for. If I go past 20 seconds, it's just going to loop back round and carry on playing. So if you kind of want this playing in the background when you're talking about a few different points, this is a good option to use. So you can see here it's coming up to 20 seconds and we should find that it's going to loop back round again, which it does. If we move across to the editing group, notice we have fade duration settings. So if we want the video to fade in and fade out, we can adjust that here as well. And a really important option here is trim video. So maybe if you have in your video something right at the beginning that you don't want to actually play in the slide, you could choose to trim the end or trim the beginning. So if we click on trim video, you're going to get this little window come up and we can use these little sliders to specify where we want the video to start. So maybe I don't want this to start until, let's say, I'm going to go for three seconds and I could even trim the end as well. Let's bring that all the way down. Let's click on OK. It's now trimmed that video and when we click on the slideshow, we should find that we have a much shorter video because we trimmed quite a few seconds off of it. So lots of different options there when it comes to editing, not only the look and feel of your video in your slide, but also how it plays. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.